everybody welcome back today I went to Walmart and I went to Aldi I had Aldi actually bring me my uh, groceries with instacart which I've never used before and I have to say I loved it and then I did a Walmart pickup there are a few keto items from Walmart I think most of my keto items are from Aldi but let's get started so I did get my Viva paper towels, of course. I love those. I picked up a thing of Angel Soft um, toilet paper. Now, this is all from Walmart. I don't know if I was clear with that. I did get a thing of paper plates. I also picked up a roll of vinyl to use on my craft, as well as this antique white paint. I picked up a thing of silverware. I also have this um, body wash. This is the Olay Fresh Outlast um, Strawberry and Mint. This stuff smells so good. I used to get this last year and I loved it. I did pick up some root beer for the kids. I picked up two roasts. I got one, let's see. One roast is 3.65 pounds. And the other roast is Two point four eight pounds. Now, the reason I get two big roasts is because we are a family of six and I like to have leftovers. We're going to do the Mississippi pot roast tonight. Onions, they didn't put it in a bag. They just put it in this Walmart bag, but I think it'll be fine. I picked up these white sub bread sandwiches. Um, what do you call these? I guess they're called white subs. We're going to do um, meatball subs this week and just like every other week we are going to Hurricane Harbor several times so this is only going to be enough food for a few meals plus just snacks and things. I did pick up for me for, for keto this is the broccoli salt slaw. I picked up the tricolor coleslaw and another thing of the tricolor slaw. This is what I'm going to use with the sausage. I got this Jimmy Dean um, pork sausage. That's how I make those keto egg rolls that I really love. They're so good. Oh, also for keto, I picked up my heavy whipping cream. I got some MCT oil. I also picked up this sugar-free ketchup, some super fine almond flour, grated parmesan, and also the grated parmesan. And then I also picked up some avocado oil and I got cream cheese. I also picked up these A&W Zero Sugar. I was in the mood for a root beer float, so I'm gonna make keto root beer floats with that. Now back to the regular food. I also picked up two things of this ranch. That's gonna be for the roast, the pot roast, the Mississippi pot roast. So I got those. I got a bag of the russet potatoes. This is just a five pound bag, so that'll go with dinner tonight. I picked up some beef smoked sausage. This is just handy to have on hand. This is a quick dinner. I can do it with some cabbage or I can add it to my beans. So, always get those. Picked up some vanilla bluebell ice cream for the kids to have with their root beer float. Two jars of the pepperoncinis. These are pretty large ones. I think I paid three something a jar for these, but my son really likes to just snack on these and he really likes extra pepperoncinis in the pot roast. So I'm probably going to put one whole thing of pepperoncinis in the pot roast and the other one will be for snacking. Thing of the ragu sauce for the meatballs. Picked up a Stouffer's lasagna for a simple meal this week. And then I picked up this garlic Texas toast to go with the lasagna. And that is everything from Walmart. Let's head on to Aldi. Okay, so at Aldi, I did order a few more extra keto items, um, and I did get some snack items, and let's get into it. So, starting just up here, I did get some bread. I was very disappointed because it came at the, they put it at the bottom of the bag, and it got real smushed, but I think it'll be okay. The kids can still eat it, but I got this fit and active multi-grain bread. I asked for just three um, 
beef stock tomatoes, just three tomatoes, and they substituted it with three bags of tomatoes on a vine. They did not charge me extra for this. I think it's kind of crazy. I hope that I can go through so many tomatoes because I still have a few left over from last shopping haul. But we love tomatoes, so they should get eaten just fine. I asked for four pounds of bananas, but they only gave me four bananas. I don't know if there was a limit, but so I got four bananas. We usually go through a lot of bananas in our house, so this is like a day's worth of bananas for my kids. So I got three bags of peaches. We are going to take a trip to Ham's Farm, which is a peach, uh, a peach farm, and get like a bunch of peaches that I can preserve and freeze or maybe can. But in the meantime, my son has requested that I get peaches. So I did pick them up three bags. <laughs> And this is for everybody, but I didn't realize there were gonna be so many in each bag. So it's okay, we now have three bags of peaches to go through. I picked up a thing of strawberries and one thing of the blueberries. Got some limes, because I was gonna do some keto dirty Coke, but then I forgot to get the coconut milk. So I'll have to pick that up later. Just for two avocado, these are very hard. They're not at all ripe, so I hope that they will ripen quickly I could put them in a brown bag and I know they'll ripen fast I wanted to do um, some chicken salad inside the avocado it's really yummy that way I don't really like avocados but I think that when I stuff them then I like them I picked up I think a lemon because I really want to start drinking some lemon water also I thought maybe I could try to make some homemade lemonade I picked up I think of grapes because my daughter requested it so what I'll do with these is freeze them. I will put them in a freezer container and I will rinse them and then I'll put them in the freezer and the kids can eat them like um, from the freezer. They're really yummy and they're sweeter that way. If you've never frozen your grapes in the summertime you need to try it. It is so yummy. Two things of cheese. I got the sharp cheddar cheese for sandwiches as well as the provolone cheese for the meatball sub sandwiches. To go with keto, I picked up the low carb tortillas. These are um, my favorite. They did say that they didn't have any, but then she threw them in my bag anyway, so I don't know. No. Yay, yay, yay. I am so excited because I got my keto bread back. This keto friendly bread from Aldi is zero guilt. I'm like, the Walmart bread has two carbs, the keto bread has no carbs. If you can see right here, it says total carbs, nine, dietary fiber, nine, meaning that there is zero net carbs in this bread. And while it is dry and you definitely have to have water or something on hand while you're eating it, it is so much better to have this bread than the other one. I like it so much. Okay, so also for keto, I just want to say, holy moly, pork rinds. This is insane. I think I only ordered four. My receipt shows, let's see, several. I don't remember ordering. I was half awake when I ordered these, and I think I just didn't realize that I put in the cart. So I wanted to do, so for these pork rinds, these are for the, um, onion rings I was gonna you know blend them up into a fine dust and fry them I got one two three four five six bags of plain pork rinds so several weeks worth of pork rinds the spicy the hot and spicy I took two bags of that for me just to snack on these are super yummy and then for the rest of the family, I picked up this. Now, Aldi is doing all these wonderful flavors for chips. It makes it so hard. But these are the Clancy's brand kettle chips. These are Nashville hot chicken flavored. My family likes the Nashville hot uh, chicken. And so I thought that they might like this. I thought I'd give it a try. They did like that last flavor that I picked up. I can't remember what it was called. It was some kind of barbecue flavor, but it was really good. I'm all, I also picked them up just the Clancy's Kettle Mesquite flavor. 
as well as the Clancy's Kettle Chip Jalapeno. These are our favorite ones, so I always get those. I did pick up two watermelons. We still have a another watermelon. We only went through two last week, so I really don't know why I picked up two. I should have just picked up one, but I got two, and it will be just fine. We'll, we'll eat them. So for snacking for the kids, I picked up these mini natural flavored cheese sandwich crackers. Also picked up this movie theater popcorn. They've been really enjoying uh, microwave popcorn. I don't usually buy it very often. I used to buy it a lot back when they were a lot smaller, but I haven't in a while. Um, and the last thing I picked up at Aldi were the fruit and grain soft baked bars. Um, let's see. I picked up four boxes of these. I think they're the same flavor. Yeah, they're all the same flavor. There are eight in a box. So that is plenty for the kids to have for snacks this week. So that is everything that I picked up at Walmart and at Aldi. I hope that you enjoyed this haul. If you did, please give it a great big thumbs up. I will see you in the next one. Bye.